Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this look, another natural makeup tutorial you can do while working from home. Um, I recently uploaded a, almost like a no makeup makeup look for video conferencing, but it was more of like a five minute quick and easy look. Today, however, I wanna take my time and show you guys how to create this natural makeup look, specifically perfecting the skin. Um, speaking of, this video is in partnership with Pat McGrath. I can't even believe I'm saying that because I'm obsessed with Pat McGrath and her entire line. I love her products so much and I'm partnering with her today to show you guys the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection the Concealer System. So I'll show you guys how I use her concealer, the brush, and the powder to perfect the skin. I have no foundation on, believe it or not. It's all the concealer. So without further ado, let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I already have my moisturizer on from this morning and that's all I have on, no primer since I'm not gonna be using foundation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my concealer. So obviously I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer and I'll be using this in two shades. Um, first I'm gonna start with LM10. And this has a little bit of a peach undertone to it, which is great if you have dark circles. Um, this just really, really helps also correct, not just conceal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my eyes. And then wherever I have breakouts, which lately is kind of a lot everywhere. And then I recently got a really big one right here, which was kind of strange. I usually don't break out here. Now to blend this in place, I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer Brush. This is great because it's already angled and it's also very dense at the root, but kind of fluffy at the top. So it's very controlled and I think blending is gonna be really nice and easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the product and not move it too much and then kind of just buff the outer corners. These concealers are so creamy and full coverage, um, so it really blends beautifully into the skin, and they're also buildable. I have been using these for quite some time now. You guys might have seen me use it in tutorials. Um, I think it was in one of my most recent tutorial as well. I'll link that below. But basically, it just is so creamy and skin-like, but it's also full coverage, which is really nice. So if you have a lot of like breakouts or even dark circles, it's perfect. Um, what I love about it is that it's very, very natural on the skin it's just one of those like really skin like full coverage concealers I also like to apply this on my eyelids as a primer So now that I have my skin concealed, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with a different shade. So I'm gonna pick up L7, which has more of like a yellow ivory undertone. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose and then right on the inner corners of my eyes, like the center of my skin. To set my under eyes in place, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. This comes in three different shades, three universal shades, so I personally like two shades and it works perfectly. I use medium, which is this one. It's got a nice like little ivory finish, I guess. And then there's also light, which is basically white, but it just does such a good job brightening the under eyes. So I first like to apply a little bit of medium. And then just apply a little bit of light on top of that. So like I said, the powders are blurring, so that's like one of the main things I love about it. I also love that they're pressed and then they're not loose, so it's kind of easy to travel with, it's mess-free, it's brightening, it's got like a very silky finish. So now I'm gonna move on to contouring and I'll be using this Vanity Makeup Compact. It comes with three shades. I'm gonna start with Sculpt and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the hollows of my cheeks and then just blend it really well. So we finally got all my lenses from work. Um, we made a little trip the other day, got some things that we needed um, to work from home, and I finally got the lens where I can get you guys up close and personal. So I think we're gonna have to make one more trip because I wanna bring my big monitor, maybe like different mics and stuff, um, just to make sure I have everything I need. Sometimes when I'm filming, I'm like, oh, I wish I had this or that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the high points of my cheeks using this highlighter from Nude Sticks. It's called Hey Honey. I'm just gonna apply this on the high points in my cheeks and just blend it. And then on the nose. Just a really subtle highlight. And then for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Persona Cosmetics Super Blush in Georgia. And I'm just gonna smile and pop this on the apples of my cheeks. 
I always put blush on my nose. It's just like a thing I do and I think it just ties the whole look together so much nicer. I also like to blend everything with a little kabuki brush afterwards. So normally I would just use uh, the Glossier Boy Brow on my brows, but today I feel like really taking my time with my brows. I want like thick, beautiful brows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them in first and then use Boy Brow. Also, my third cup of coffee today. I'm gonna make this look different from my conference call makeup tutorial. Brow lamination is basically gone. I really wanna do it again, it was so good. Now I'm gonna set everything in place with my Glossier Boy Brow. I'm gonna use a brown liner to tight line my eyes and then I'm also gonna create a really, really smudged sort of natural cat eye. This is the Persona Cosmetics Eyeliner in Brown. I'm just applying the liner on the outer corners and then now I'm just gonna use a straight brush and sort of blend it in place. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Glossier mascara. It's more lightweight, kind of, um, I would say very natural finish. Lastly, I'm gonna give my lips some color because I've been either doing nude or red. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of color today. This is the tinted lipstick in Rise and it's just a really pretty orangey color. I don't want this to be super pigmented, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in place. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thanks again to Pat McGrath for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Um, taking care of my brows, you know, like the thick. I can't do the brow today. <laughs> Um, using a brush is when you would perfect it.